Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this Angelina TV where we talk about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean like finally another pregnancy update. My stomach is itching so bad right now, y'all. Sorry. If you're wondering why I have a blue and a pink eye, it's because I just recorded my gender reveal. And if you haven't watched that, you need to watch that and you need to watch the entire video, not just where I, I announce the gender because you're gonna miss something. So um, go and check the video out if you haven't done so already. Um, but this is gonna be my update. I was actually supposed to do this update whenever I was 22 weeks, but um, obviously that didn't work out. But I'm finally 23 weeks and I am a week away from being six months pregnant. Like, where the fuck did time go? Because girl, I didn't think that, like I just would not imagine, okay? Um, I have my notes on my phone. I'm just gonna go over everything that's been going on. Because the last update I did was at 17 weeks. That was like five weeks ago. So let's go ahead and get into the video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe because if you want to keep up with me, my pregnancy, and you know, this is not the only thing I do. You know, I do story time and stuff like that. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let's go ahead and get into the symptoms. Um, I've been feeling super, super heavy. Like I really feel like I'm, well, I know for a fact that I'm much bigger around this time. Um, than I was with any of my other pregnancies like I thought I was big with my son which was my last pregnancy but girl no like I'm I feel big as fuck it's really really uncomfortable like if I eat I have to lay down on my side because if I sit up I can't breathe I don't know if it's, if it's because like obviously whenever you eat your stomach is expanding a little bit I don't know, but it should be fucking suffocating okay and I'll be having to sit down and take a nap or something to get that that feeling away um, another thing is sore hips. Lately, I've been waking up with sore hips, probably because how big I am. Like, I'm not huge. Like, a lot of people, like, whenever I tell them I'm pregnant or whenever they obviously see that I'm pregnant, they're like, oh, you're so small. And I'll be thinking, like, bitch, no the fuck I'm not. Like, I feel big as hell. <laughs> but I guess because I'm my friend, I'm already a small girl, you know? Oh, well, girl, small woman. <laughs> um, people just think I'm just small, but I beg to differ, okay? But, um, yeah, I've been working up with sore hips i need to get a um body pillow because I, I can't do this like i just i can't so hopefully that resolves itself another thing i've been tired a lot but i can't really say tired a lot i'll say this i go to bed early now because in the first trimester i that was being tired a lot like i take many naps throughout, throughout the day in my first trimester but being in the second trimester i'm not really tired during the day but i go to sleep early as fuck like 10 o'clock nine o'clock really my eyes start getting um heavy and a bitch be gone like it takes not even two seconds for me to go to sleep and to fall asleep and i always fall asleep on movies i'll be trying to spend time gay but like a bitch be tired another thing is acid reflux um and i am the cause of it i will say i mean i can say that but then i can't like i've always kind of had acid reflux like i had a really really bad when i was younger and then it kind of like subsided as i got older and then as i got older and i started having kids i noticed that my acid reflux will only be a problem whenever i'm pregnant i feel like it's a lot that's m most of my um fault because it's like i like spicy foods and i've always liked spicy foods like me being pregnant make me want them even more so um i just suffer the consequences and so i just end up taking like three times being pregnant you can take six a day so i'll take it depends i'll take it as i feel it like i don't just take them every day but like if my chest burns then i'm taking it also tailbone pain y'all know i work from home like i'm sitting up all day like even in my bed because i don't i don't work at a desk like a typical bitch would, would do fuck that like i need to be comfortable so i'll be in bed and um I sit up in a bed obviously on my computer working but like towards the end of my shift or even like in the middle of my shift my ass be hurting like my tail like my tailbone basically be hurting not my ass but my tailbone and i had this issue with my daughter but i didn't have it with my son i think i had that issue with my daughter because i fell on the steps and i fell down the steps when i was pregnant that's why i started having that issue yeah i fell down the steps so now it's back but it's not because i fell down the steps the baby has been kicking like crazy like that's all the baby want to do and it's kicked like crazy so i get after i eat the baby kick i get up throughout the day i mean throughout the night to use the bathroom and i try to go back to sleep but i can't because the baby just want to move all over the place as far as my cravings i don't really crave anything um like anything 
specific like every other day i have a specific thing that i want to eat <laughs> so like how some people crave one particular type of food that's not how i am i crave every fucking thing like i'm eating everything like it's it's sad y'all and, and i'm gonna tell y'all why it's sad in a minute but um i crave just about everything every other day um and also just spicy food in general is it spicy i want it my most recent couple of few doctor's appointments have been kind of weird but everything's okay um whenever i don't remember how many weeks i was at this time i probably was like uh maybe 18 weeks or something like that the doctor noticed that i had higher amniotic fluid than normal and so she didn't know if it was because of gestational diabetes which i've never had in any of my pregnancies so she wanted me to go ahead and take an early diabetes test which normally you would take that whenever you like 24 weeks or something but i took it really early so i did the one hour test you know you drink the sugary drink and stuff like that and then they dry your blood i did that and then um my results came back and it was like borderline it wasn't like i had it but it was just like borderline so then they told me they wanted me to do the three hour one which i don't mind doing but they want me to do a diet and i'm not doing a diet like I, I i'm just not doing it like i'm sorry like the diet consists of me drinking milk for every meal which i don't even fuck with milk like that um and then they want me to drink like i mean eat like wheat crackers it, it's just the diet is just bullshit and i'm not doing it okay i'm supposed to go back to take the three hour test i was actually supposed to go, to go back today but fuck that i'm not so um I might go back next week or something because I still haven't even scheduled my next appointment. But I'm going to probably go back next week and just do the diabetes test without the diet. I highly doubt that I have have it, like, period. Um, especially because it was borderline and be, especially because I didn't have it in any of my other pregnancies. Not saying that it's impossible for me to have it this time, but since it was borderline, I don't feel like I have it. So hopefully whenever I take the three-hour test without the diet that it would say that i don't have it but then whenever i went to my doctor's appointment last week she tested my amniotic fluid again and it was perfectly fine it was like the same level that it was on i think she she said 20 or something 20 i don't know how it, how it goes but she asked a little the our son lady and she said 20 so whatever 20 is that's what it was and um, my doctor wasn't too concerned about it she still wanted me to do the um the wish call them test though so I guess I'm gonna do it. So she did notice that my placenta was kind of low, but I was, I'm not too concerned about it because she didn't seem like she was too concerned about it either. Like it wasn't super low, but it was like, you know, kind of low a little bit. She's somebody referring from sex. I gained 10 pounds in three weeks and I don't know where it's going. I felt really, really embarrassed about it because the, the nurse looked at me like, girl, like what you be eating but i told her like i, I can't stop eating so um but it, it doesn't look like it like i'm 122 pounds now i've never been 122 pounds without me being pregnant like my regular size i don't never go over 108 pounds like without me being pregnant so it's definitely baby weight um however 10 pounds in three weeks is a lot but my doctor didn't seem concerned about it because I'm already underweight, so it's not like I'm really gaining, you know, it's not like my weight gain is becoming a problem for me or a health risk for me. I just be hungry and I'm just gonna be eating because a bitch be hungry. The doctor don't want me to have another eight pound baby though because last time I tried to have, well, last time I did have an eight pound baby, I had a, I don't even wanna get into this, but I had like a laceration between my cervix and my uterus almost up to my uterus that happened whenever i had my daughter whenever i had my son it opened up again and it was really really hard for her to stitch it up like she almost had to take me to the or to stitch me up for it but she ended up being able to do it right in the delivery room however they don't want me to have another eight pound baby but i beg to differ because i think this baby gonna be big and i can't control that if that's what this it's gonna be then it's just gonna be that definitely don't want them to induce me or anything like that because i've been induced for both of my pregnancies and since this is gonna be my last pregnancy i want to just let it flow like i'm i'd rather my water just break because i've never experienced my water breaking before um so hopefully it happens like that but i'm gonna try to go as long as i can without being induced this baby may be over eight pounds like my last baby was so last but not least i decided i i, I wanted to have a baby shower but then 
I was thinking no why have a baby shower because like I don't even fuck with people like that so I don't really want to have a baby shower but I want to do like a dinner I'm gonna do a dinner probably in May I'm doing June so I'm gonna do like a dinner or something something small something you know like just casual my biggest fear is for me to plan everything spend all my money on it and then ain't nobody you know there so I'd rather just have a dinner, whoever comes, comes, whoever don't, don't, fuck it, I don't really give a fuck, I just want to eat anyway. And I've been getting a few comments about if I'm going to have a virtual baby shower or not, and the answer to that is I don't know. Um, like a few people have asked me, I don't feel like enough of you have been asking me for me to actually go through with it, but if y'all want me to, put it in the comment section, let me know, and I'll do it. I'm going to show y'all my belly, and then I guess I'll do my next update another month from now so i'm 23 weeks now so that'll be 23 27 weeks at that time it'll be like a week before my third trimester which is crazy i'm already halfway through it um halfway through my second trimester too halfway through the pregnancy and also halfway through my second trimester so If you have any questions or anything like that, put it in the comment section below. And like I said, I'll do my next um, pregnancy update in about four weeks. So um, unless anything changes, I'll let y'all know. Or obviously, y'all see the video if anything changes. So thank y'all for watching. And I'm going to see y'all in, well, I'm, I'm going to see y'all before four weeks. But my pregnancy updates will be in four weeks. So I'll talk to y'all later. the previous September so that means if that's the truth then this nigga was with her half of our fucking relationship and I knew nothing about it and then she also said that he had made it seem like he was living by himself out here in Houston how he was just you know getting his life together and how he was inviting her to come 